in the question the principal talks about talks about the dowry death and says that dowry death occurs when a woman dies under suspicious circumstances within 7 years of her marriage and it is shown that soon before her death she was subjected to harassment by her husband in connection with any demand in the past mala got married to mohan on 22nd may they were living happily and mohan got promotion and they he was asked to shift to dubai by december 2013 so in order to re, re, uh, relocate mohan asked mala to get some money from her parents now mala did not want to leave her home and settle in another country an argument ensued in which went on for a whole night and next day when mohan returned from office he found mala lying dead in the bathroom post mortem report showed that her death was caused due to overdose of sleeping pills so when mala's parents filed for a complaint of dowry death we can clearly see that there was no harassment by mohan on mala there was no sort of harassment by her so it would definitely not be a dowry death she herself did not want to uh, go and settle in another country and that is the reason she took an overdose of sleeping pills and which led to the consequences of her uh, death so hence mohan would not be liable because he did not harass mala so option b would be the correct answer